YAML versus JSON You might be wondering what is the difference between YAML compared to JSON format. They both might be looking a bit very similar, but there are some subtle differences between these two structures. In this lesson, let's cover the topic. To begin with, let's look at a sample YAML and its corresponding JSON value. This is a sample tool I am going to use for this lesson, namely YAML to JSON. To illustrate, I am going to copy a ready-made value that I am have. So this is going to represent a sample student that contains various properties like ID, name, age, address and so on. In the left side, you see the YAML structure. Here you have all the student details. In the right side, you have the corresponding JSON format. Notice that from the very high level, both the details are exactly the same. But quickly you can realize one key difference between these two structures. It is about the readability. Notice how the YAML structure is extremely readable compared to the JSON structure. One main difference between these two is that the JSON uses the structural indicators such as the braces, double quotes and so on. Whereas they are not used in the case of YAML. Hence, the YAML structure is more readable compared to JSON. Is it the only difference between these two or there are more differences to this? Let's dig into that a bit more deeper. Let's get into the finer details for the difference between YAML and JSON. We'll pick each of the features and look at how they are different in these two language structures. The first feature is about the design goal of that specific language. In the case of JSON, their whole purpose or the main goal of this language is simplicity and universality. Which means that JSON should be able to use across the programming languages and should be simpler to use. That's why you see that JSON is being used in many of the web applications. In the case of YAML, the main goal is human readability. They want it to be easier for the humans, basically the developers, to use this language more easily. That's why you notice that the structure of the YAML is very different and is very easier when compared to the other languages. Next, when it comes to the readability, the JSON has a lesser readability compared to the YAML. When it comes to YAML, they are extremely readable. As you saw in the previous example, as well as all, all forthcoming lessons, you will notice that the YAML files or the structures are extremely readable. Next, coming to the complexity, JSON are generally easy to generate and parse. Since they follow a specific structure using certain indicators like double quotes and the curly braces, there are various tools that knows how to parse this JSON in a specific manner. However, in the case of YAML, since they primarily use indentation that we are going to cover shortly, it is a bit complex to generate and parse. Hence, you need to be careful when you are working with YAML when it comes to generation and parsing that logic. If you are going to use some of the libraries, then it's more safer. When it comes to the processing, JSON are generally easier to process by the various language environments. Whereas YAML is a bit complex. So we will cover this in the forthcoming lessons. In short, the YAML is considered as slim and flexible, whereas JSON is considered a bit rigid. One additional detail which makes YAML flexible is that you can use or represent the various complex structures a bit easily in the case of YAML. When those complex structures needs to be represented in JSON, it can be represented but it's going to be a bit complex. You have to include various braces to use these indentations to, so that you can represent the structure in the JSON. When it comes to the usage of these languages, it's a pretty much easier to pick the language. The JSON is used when you want to have a better data exchange. That is the whole purpose of these web applications wherein the JSON is being used whenever you want to exchange the data between the client and server with respect to the APIs. However, when it comes to the YAML, predominantly it is used for the configurations. Having seen about the difference between JSON and YAML, it is very important for you to know that YAML is a superset of JSON, which means that any valid JSON is most likely a valid YAML file. Moreover, if you know JSON, 
then you can easily grasp yaml only the format differs when it compares to json if you know the json structure and how we create the properties key value pairs collections and so on then you can feel at home when you are working at yaml in case you don't know json so far then still okay because the yaml structure is very easy and it is very intuitive for any developers to understand